Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then you are very welcome. And if you're returning, then thank you so much for coming back. Today, I'm going to be giving you a little tutorial on this look. It's actually been requested by a number of people, so that's more than one, after I used to feature it in the introductory montage that I did on this channel. Um, gave up doing the montage because I thought, well, by the time people have watched it, they'll have given up and gone off and watched somebody else. So, yeah. So this is just a very basic two-colour look. And I will also be chatting to you about the meaning and origins of what we in the UK call Boxing Day. So if you'd like to learn about Boxing Day and how to do this makeup, then do please just keep on watching. So as you can see, I've already done one eye and I'm gonna do the other eye as I talk you through the tutorial. Um, right, we're gonna go in initially with the lovely Bold Waterproof Eyeliner by Barry M. Swear by this and thanks to Make Me Up Missa for pointing this one out to me. As I film this, it is what we in the UK call Boxing Day. And a lot of Americans don't really understand why it's called Boxing Day. Um, there's a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, it was the custom to empty the arms boxes in churches um, the day after Christmas um, when the money that had been put in those boxes was given to the poor. And I'm just going to start the colour on this eye with my Smashbox little tiny palette. It's called the Covershot Sunlit Yellow palette and it looks like that and to be fair it's the best yellow I've ever found I've got tons of palettes with yellows in them and for some reason this is the best one anyway um, yes so um, Boxing Day so the day after Christmas is called St Stephen's Day the Feast of St Stephen you might think I know that name. Where do I know that from? And the reason you think you know it is because there's a very famous carol called Good King Wenceslas. And when did he look out? Well, upon the Feast of Stephen, which is the day after Christmas. And that's the day when traditionally, as I say, things are given to the poor. And it's not just the arms box, it's also the day that a lot of servants in the past were given the day off to go home because obviously they had to stay in the great houses on Christmas Day to serve the feasts, um, dress people, all the stuff that servants do or did. Um, Yes, yeah, so they were then given a box of good things to take home to their families on the day after Christmas Day. And the other thing about King Wenceslas and why he didn't translate to America, um, he, was a he was an actual king. Um, he was alive in the 10th century in Bohemia. Yep, there is a country called Bohemia. And it's now in what is the modern day Czech Republic. And as I say, 10th century. So when the Puritans went to America, they didn't, they didn't hold with saints and fancy stuff like that. Um, so they didn't really take many saints with them. They just took the bare bones of their religion and they weren't keen on saints and fancy schmancy stuff. So that's why 
you don't really in America hear very much about the old saints of Eastern Europe, say for example. Um, yeah, so, and when I was young, Boxing Day it was the day that you got ready to give what we called a Christmas box to the tradespeople that had served you well throughout the year. So it would be the Monday after Boxing Day and um, you would give a amount of money a Christmas box it was called to your postman, your bin men, your coal men, um, all the window cleaner, all the people that came to your house to, throughout the year you would give them their Christmas box on the Monday or the next day after Christmas that you saw them. Um, hence the name Boxing Day. So to all the Americans who are constantly confused by this, that's where it comes from. So I'm just taking my beautiful Mitchell, whoops, there we go, Mitchell palette, and there is a black in here called Mafia, which is just perfect for this. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit under here. like so and then just try and relax my eyes and take it out to try and match the other one yeah oh dear this is where it always goes hideously wrong and the notion of symmetry is one which we almost have to give up on. I mean, yeah, Boxing Day, as recently, I say recently, compared to the 10th century, as recently as the 1600s, Samuel Pepys, in his diaries, was talking about giving money to his, I think it's his shoemaker's boys for their Christmas box. I'm just trying to concentrate, so do bear with. So I hope you've all had lovely Christmases or Yuletide celebrations or some other seasonal celebrations. I went for my traditional Christmas Day run, which is always fun. Bloody cold, mind you. It's the first time it's actually got seriously cold this year. But it was beautiful, very sunny. Sunny and cold is nice for running. And then on Christmas lunch, well, Christmas dinner, we had it a little bit later in the day, we had the most amazing um, whole roasted cauliflower with lovely fiery spices. Oh, it was nice. Really nice. Now the other thing about this black is, of course, that it will actually go over the yellow. I tried some other blacks um, to do this and they weren't very good at covering the yellow where they needed to. So, I mean obviously you could do the black first but you'd have to be fairly careful about then putting the yellow on afterwards. I mean, you can do it either way round, really. It doesn't really matter. I just do it this way because this is the way I did it before. 
and the Mitchell black in this palette is very good. I know he's um, just come out with Feet on the Ground and Head in the Clouds. His two palettes. Feet on the Ground I could really live without. Head in the Clouds I sort of thought, hmm, that's nice. But um, I've got more palettes than I know what to do with, so, and I'm on a bit of a palette ban at the moment. I've tried to get rid of all the ones I never really use anymore, all the sort of makeup revolution ones that I started out with years ago. Going back to the yellow, I'm just going to try and even it up a tad more. Yes, it's very nice, this um, little Smashbox palette. I don't know if you watched my, what's it called, palette collection video, which I will link somewhere, but um, I actually found it in a charity shop, I know, I've never bought makeup in a charity shop ever, but um, yeah, there it was, completely unopened, $3.99 or $2.99, something ridiculous, so I had to have it. Um, oh, I better put a bit more there by the look of it. And then I'm taking a nice new, brand new Jessup 142. It says concealer buffer, but you know, I'm just a rebel. So I'm going to take that, bite that, and just buff it out slightly. What I did do on this eye is I did um, take my pastels palette and put a tiny bit of pastel yellow just around the edge just to help it on its way as it were. I mean if there's any other stories of um, why things are the way they are that you're interested in or you want to find out about don't hesitate to ask because I'll either know or I can look it up I mean it's well you could look it up as well but you might want you might think I might know um, yes I treated myself to a NYX vinyl liquid liner Lexar and I'm going to do my liner with this. It's very good. Very, 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 very good. I like NYX. I think they're excellent quality. Bet I got my hand in the way then. Sorry everybody. Let me just do this. There we go. And then a little one down here like this. There we go. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? Let's go back and see if we can even them up. slightly and then one down here there we are useful wrinkle let's fit it in there oh dear well I'll just have to keep my eyes folded Yeah, that's the thing with hooded eyes. You get terrible transfer if you're not careful. So just keep them relaxed. So how are we looking symmetry-wise? Um, could be better, could be worse. Let's just go in and bring this down a fraction. Well, I think 
the lines are quite good. Um, just the black. Yeah. Anyway, the next thing we want to do is some little dots and big dots. So I also thought I would try a makeup obsession um, Mega Flick Waterproof Liquid Liner. And this has got a much um, more st harder, pointier tip to it. So I'm going to put these dots here like that varying the pressure to get different sizes and then using my very trusty Essence liquid ink liner and my nail art oh it matches my nail art um, tool I'm going to do the larger dot So we just get a little bit on there. Was it that end or was it the other end? I think it was the other end. So we get the other end. And just, yes it was this end. Do a couple of larger ones like this. That's about that. And then we're going to do some mascara and lashes and we'll come back and do a lip. So also treating myself for Christmas, I went into Debenhams to try and see if they had any sales on um, because they're closing down, but they didn't. But um, anyway, I bought myself a KVD Black Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Witches, because I've always wanted one of these. And I don't really want to be buying Jeffree Star all the time, just to get a black lipstick. And KVD Vegan Beauty now is quite, it's quite safe morally and ethically. So that's just the ordinary part of the lip. And then in the original picture, I had the sort of um, Cupid's Bow extension, which I use. Again, it's KVD. It's the Tattoo Liner. So there we have it. Yellow and black. Um, and a little explanation about Boxing Day for all those people that don't live in the UK and don't quite get it. Um, don't forget to like this video whether you liked it or not it doesn't really matter just like it for me anyway thank you and um oh this is getting a bit sticky and um please subscribe if you haven't already i know a lot of you have subscribed recently and i absolutely thank each and every one of you for doing so but if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing or other sorts of things if there's anything you'd like me to talk about in particular, please let me know in the description box. If I've forgotten to name any products, just remind me. And in the meantime, stay safe everybody and stay strange.